You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? We're looking for the greatest common denominator. Mm -hmm. No, not the greatest. That should be the least. Least common denominator. If that was in your notes from the previous example, go ahead and cross that out and put least. All right, now what? Whoa, when in doubt, factor first, because that needs to be part of that game plan. So I'm looking at that denominator, k squared plus 6k. Okay, then I'm going to factor out that k, and then that's going to be a k plus a 6, 6, 6. So, whoa, 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 what? Now, I need to factor that denominator. That's k squared plus 3k minus 18. Now, I'm looking for the factors of 18 that subtract to be 3. There's still time to learn how to factor, people. All right. So then, that's going to be a 6 and a 3. Because 6 times 3 is 18, and 6 minus 3 is 3. So there's a 6 there, and that's a 3, that's a K, and this is okay. Now, the signs are different, and the big one is going to be positive, negative, And it's still all good, but how good should I look for? Whoa. All right. You over there. Um... Um, yeah, this is, uh, if it's a factor, it needs to be represented. It's the UN of denominators. And then we're going to take the greatest number of factors in each one of the prime factorizations. Now, that means that it's, uh, in its lowest form. All right. And then what? Uh, I'm going to represent it in its largest group, which is like its biggest count. And if you want to go all fancy, the greatest multiplicity. So then here we see, whoa, K needs to be in there. That's one of the tricky parts because you're like K is there and K is there and K is there. But K and K plus 6 are distinctly different numbers. Like if K is mm, 10, then that one's going to be 16. And 10 is different than 16. So these are different numbers, which is why you need to see K is kind of like a K plus 0. If you wanted to look at it at that form. So K needs to be in there. What else needs to be in there? K plus 6 needs to be in there. Because that's a completely different factor. That is different than K by 6 units. Alright. And then what else needs to be in there? There needs to be a K minus 3 in there. Why? Why? Because if it's in one of them, then it's in the least common denominator. Alright. Now, I need to include them in their greatest multiplicities. This one is multiplicity 1, and that one, oh, all right, multiplicity 1 is its biggest, uh, multiplicity 1 is its biggest, multiplicity 1 is its biggest. This is the least common multiple, and let's talk about the multiplicity in this next one on over here. Oh, boy. Now we have numbers, and we have letters and they have multiplicities but when I'm looking at 16 I'm looking at 2 and 8 and then 2 and 4 and then 2 and 2 so what's this look like that looks like 2 to the fourth power why am I bringing that up because we're talking about that multiplicity over there so this one also says that x minus 3 is a multiplicity of 2, which means this. And x plus 2 is a multiplicity of 3, which means, oh, whoa. This and now here, whoa. There's going to be four of these x minus Wait, can you even get in there? You're a struggling little camera. All right, all right, all right. There's four of them. X minus three, X minus three, X minus three, X minus three, and then just one X plus two. But what is six? Six is two times three. So now, well, what? Uh, if it's in any of the denominators, it needs to be represented. All right. Um, 2 is in one of the denominators here. Okay, which one has the biggest number of 2's? That one has 4 2's, this one has 1 2. Which one's bigger? 4 or 1? 4. So, it's in a denominator, it needs to be represented, and it needs to be re represented in its biggest 
faction, its biggest multiplicity, its biggest count, and four is the biggest count amongst those denominators. What's another factor in my denominator? Looks like an x minus three. Now, which one has more x minus threes? This one has two x minus threes. This one has four x minus threes. So the four needs to be represented because it needs to have the greatest count, the greatest, uh, the largest group, the biggest count, the greatest multiplicity that is in the least common denominator. Yeah, least. <laughs> All right, so now what else is in there? Uh, x plus 2 is in there because it's in one of the denominators. If it's in one of the denominators, then it's in the least common denominator. And which one has the most? I know that part is a little confusing. So um, x plus 2 to the third, x plus 2 to the one, which one has more? This one has three, this one has one. So the most is three and this is going to be the first number that that denominator is going to multiply out well it's the smallest denominator that you can achieve to get a common denomination so that we can add the fractions which is what's coming next